Here is the Greek alphabet that we will be using in AP Physics. Uh, I will post this uh, paper. This is that old kindergarten paper you had where you have the top and bottom lines with a dotted line in the middle. Uh, and so we will, uh, I'm going to go through how to handwrite these. And the list is in the um, uh, comments or in the description along with um, some uh, questions there. So these are only the ones that I expect you to know. Uh, let's start with alpha. All right. Alpha is your Greek letter A. Ah, it's your A. It starts up here. And then comes down and around like that. So it starts here, comes around, comes around, comes around. All right. There's your alpha. Beta, that's the Greek letter B. All right. That starts below the line. And it kind of comes up, all right, and closes this way. I've also seen it this way, all right? You're starting below the line and you're coming up and around. Coming up and around. Do not draw a B because you're drawing a you're drawing a the B prototype is really the, the way to talk about it. So um, it's also this one's a little bit short. It's it's above. It needs to be above this middle line, closer to like a a T. Um, so you can kind of I've seen it both I've seen it both ways. Uh, so there you go. Beta gamma. Gamma is the Greek letter gamma. It's the Greek letter G. It's the ge. It starts up here, comes down, and then comes back up. So you start here. That's another way to do it. You have a little loop at the bottom. You don't want much of a loop down there. It looks like somebody took an alpha, grabbed it by this corner, and gave it a shake. All right. Capital Delta. That's their D. And we're going to start down here, and we're just going to make a giant triangle. All right. And that triangle will also change shapes as we go through here. So, yeah, so we're going up this way, come back down. Uh, so we can do, right, so if I'm talking about right, delta B, delta capital B, I'll make that delta the same size as, the B, as that B. But if I'm doing some sort of like delta X, where X is lowercase, right, I will make that delta smaller. So the general shape is just a triangle. Delta Epsilon. Epsilon is their eh. Right. Epsilon starts here, comes around, comes around. So it's a curly QE. Right. Starting up here, coming around, and then coming around. There is an alt alternate. Uh, writing as well, where you start here and you make a C, then you pick it your pencil up, and then you draw like that. So that also counts as well. You'll see the smaller case letter uh, also if it's in between there. Epsilon, theta, theta. This is the Greek letter. It is a three-quarter tall letter as well, and it has a horizontal line in it. Sometimes you'll see it this way. It needs to be horizontal. So anything that's circle with a horizontal line through it is going to be your theta. It doesn't even have to kind of all the way go through there. Being thin is nice, but not necessary. Theta. Lambda. That's the Greek letter L. It's another three-quarter tall, so you're going to start up here. Come down, and then, come back, then pick it back up, and then come back down. So we're going...
you want to, you can put a little curly Q on it. Put a little curly Q on it, a little serif on there. That's that little, uh, these little embellishments that are on there. Uh, this is the first one where I've really put an embellishment on it. Little, all right, again, that's not necessary. Mu. This is the Greek letter M. It is an M. Be careful, it's not a U. That, that happens quite a bit in physics as you, we make it look like a, uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take our M's, capital M, and we're going to make it sloppy. And then we're going to make one leg longer than the other one. So I want you to see that this starts below the line, comes up. It is very much an M. Starts down here, comes up, comes down, goes back up, comes back down. You must go up, come down, go back up, come back down. It is an M. So... Right. So you don't have to have that little curly on the back, but you do need one, two, three, four pieces to it. One, two, three, four pieces to it. One, two, three, four pieces. It's got to go up, come back down, go up, come back down. Mu. Pi. This is the Greek letter P. All right. You've seen this a lot, but it is also only half height. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, if you want to, you can go one, two, three. You can go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Uh, it does need to look like a tabletop. There's some wonky pies that are out there, and if you start to get too fancy, it stops being that letter. So I know this one shoots around a lot. That is... Uh, looks like a K that fell over. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, All right? There you go, pi. Next is capital sigma. Capital sigma. So, capital sigma is, what do we got here? Capital sigma starts up at the top and looks like that. All right. So across, down, come back out. There you go. One, two, three, four. Looks like it, it is very much an M on its side. All right. Take your M, tip it over. Uh, some of you do put serifs on the front. Put your little fronts on there, but if it gets too big, it looks like a staple remover. So we're not drawing staple removers. We're not drawing staple removers. Don't give me that. All right, that's really all you need right there. Capital Sigma. Regular, sig uh, regular Sigma. Lowercase Sigma. That is a circle that comes around. It's a circle that comes around. A circle that comes around. You could do it this way. You could also, so I started here and went that way. I started here and went that way. You could also start here and go that way and come around into it like that. So start here, start here. You can also come around, start here, come around, and then come back here and pop back out. All right. That is also acceptable as well. Next, after Sigma Tau. This is what we use. This is this. This is their T. Uh, we will use this for torque. Lowercase T, little T. Put a little curly Q on it. Put a little curly Q on it. T. Curly Q, 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 curly Q. Curly Q, curly Q, curly Q. Tau. Phi. Phi is the Greek letter F. It is a horizontal kind of oval that you cross down on top. Often used uh, in the uh, to oppose the opposite of theta. So you have theta and phi. You can also do it this way. I've seen that a couple times, right? I need a vertical 
vertical line to go through there. Next. Psi, it is the psi, this is the ps sound. That is a U with a line through it. U with a line through it. Sometimes they'll put a little serif on that front to, on both sides. We could also do a serif and tilt it in a little bit. You could just do the serif that way. This is how I learned how to draw it. It is a ps. That ps is the start of psychology, psyche, psyche, and psychology. Um, next, capital Omega. Omega. This is the all oh sound. So, comes around and sticks out like that. All right. These pieces are not serifs. All right. All right. That's not. Right. You need the little piece on there. Some of you put extra serifs on there. You don't need that. Some of them make them huge. Yeah, don't do that. There you go. There's your capital omega. And finally, lowercase omega. Switch letters here. This looks like a W, but it's not. Do not draw a W. It's not a W. It's an omega. The little curly in the middle is what's going to tell you. Um, if you can curl the sides in, that's okay as well. All right. Some of these you're really good at. Some of you need to practice on. So that's kind of what this paper is for. right? If, just fill the whole line full of these letters that you are learning now and are going to use a whole bunch as well All right, that you will be using in your journey through physics.